big old tree there guarding up remnants of an old home there and maybe an old gravestone as well. This would have all been dwellings here by the water. You can see if you zoom in there the banks, that could have been a cottage once. Down there, look. Yeah, all signs of either homes or walls of some sort have been built here anyway. Yeah, I videoed this last year, but um, you always see something different. You do it from a different perspective in a strange way. Like I said, it would have been nice to have done it in reverse, to have gone round, up, done the top and round. But because I did that, I thought I was being clever, I did that diversion, which I'm glad I did because I wouldn't have met the archaeologist, as I said before. If I hadn't done that diversion, I wouldn't have found out about the archaeology that was going on there. But as it is, I didn't really find anything. But then he told me a few other bits and pieces. But this is very, very old and magical. Look at this, this tree here, for example. Look, Look at that. Those the way it's gone up like that. It's almost like a radiator, isn't it? A vertical radiator going up like that. And um, of course with oaks. Oaks cling on, old oaks cling on by their the thinness of their bark, apparently. They are they're hollow. Now when I went to Capri Fort I came across a very old oak and I was amazed how it was living because it was so hollow. And um, I watched this program not long ago about oak trees. They found one that's was they got one hidden in a forest somewhere, and it's the oldest one they know of in England, probably the world. And it's um, it was there at the time of William the Conqueror, um, and it was mainly hollow inside. And it was living by its bark. There's some cow, not cows, horses in there talking. Hiya. Horses. Hello. Oi. Yeah, you'd need boots on or really good walking shoes to come down here um, in the winter because of the mud here. In a minute this path will link up with the one that skirts the wood which I did last year which I'm not doing this year. I'm not doing it on this walk. Just got to try and get across the mud. I'll go round actually. Go around over here. Yeah, there's a track. You follow that track, it takes you around the base of the fort and then up to pass all the forest and back up high up onto the Mendips if you go in that way. Right, let's hope I don't fall in. Yeah, so you follow that way. That's what I did last year. That goes a, a long way. So what I hadn't really planned properly is um, how I was going to fit everything in. I mean, what I should have done is not done that big loop, come straight here, come through here, gone up there, gone up the top and then back round. But I am doing it a slightly different way um, because what I'm going to be doing is... Um, church.
course it's wetter than last year because the stream's operating again. It was coming all the way through here though last time. Seems to be redirected in the wrong way. So this is Sheila's Adventures on the 18th of July 2016. They might get a bit boring my videos after a while because basically I, oh, I've been down some of these tracks more than once. There's no real, real reason to video every time. But I can't help it because it's so beautiful and it might be slightly a different season. So it will look slightly, it could look a lot different or it could look you know, subtly different, so... Yeah, this will be fine. So what I intend doing now when I find the route... I've got to look out for the... the pathway to the church. Look at these trees, look. It's so quiet, isn't it? It's so quiet. Yeah, because what I'll do, I won't go down to the bottom where the gate is, where you join to go up um, the fort. I won't go as far as that. As soon as I see the appropriate gate that leads up to the church, I'll go up that. But what it does, it leads you up the up to the a little bit of the road, really. And I've got to look out for it. I passed it last time with, and because I've only done it the once, so it's easy to to miss. It's easy to miss until you become familiar. I mean, I'm familiar with this route now. I've done it a few times. Yeah, I remember climbing over that to go and have a look up there because. Um, I'll just show you again. This is Dol called Dolbury Warren here. And up there, high up, you can't see it, but that is like vertical. That's the top of the fort up there. And there is probably a route that you can climb up to get up there. Because look, there's a st style there. There'll be a route. But the fort is actually right up there, vertical up there. All we're doing, all I'm doing, is skirting it. I'm skirting it. There's not, there's not time, and I'm not rushing anything. There's certainly... If I was going to do it, and aim to get back to Cheddar, that would certainly be a march. Um, and I don't want to do that. So we ain't. Basically, I'm going back to Winscombe. It doesn't matter. I've done a bit of uh, ex more exploring, familiarising, and it still means the fort has got to be visited again. I mean, I've got a feeling I've already been out here this year. I'm not sure, but I feel like I have. But not here, but to the fort. I feel like I've been up the fort. <sighs> Don't feel that long ago. Very dark here, isn't it? Very dark. But the woods are my friends. The trees are. They give me oxygen. I talk to the trees. I'm not. I'm not worried by them at all. I shame about the walls falling apart. Look, that's a new bit that's come down. No one's going to repair them now either. I should imagine that's it now. So it's, you've got people like me have got to video them. Because I don't think they'll ever repair them. To be quite honest, they won't. They won't preserve them anymore. They are in some areas, but I can't see why they they probably say, what's the point? We just put a fit bar for a barbed wire fence up. 
Right, there's a path going up there, which I think I'll take. It might stop me having to walk over all these wumpy stones. Oh, it's been a lovely day. Apparently it's going to be really hot tomorrow. I've got different plans for tomorrow, which is more... ...bussing and walking around a town, like Port said. I've got a few, I've got to visit some graves there, and the church again. <sighs> yeah, this just keeps you off the, the rocky bit. It's quite, um, I heard somebody talking about it earlier, how it uh, affects your feet. When I've, if I get to the gate where it goes up to the fort, oh no, I've gone too far. And I might have to backtrack. I've just got to keep my eyes peeled for the, the track that takes me to the church. Well, if it's night time and you're listening to me, everyone, this is, this will help send you to sleep. It's so peaceful here. So there's a gate there. It's finding... Finding the pathway, you see. Might be a bit further up yet. That looks a bit overgrown. I only did it once and I had to really concentrate um, to find it last time. That could be it up there, look. It does, even, it does flatten out a bit and there's a gate up there. It might be. That might be it. Right, over and out for a minute everyone. <laughs>